The Lumix DC S1R is a full-frame mirrorless interchangeable lens camera designed for enthusiast and professional photographers. The S1R and its companion camera, the S1, mark Panasonic's entrance into a new market segment, and both are packed with advanced stills and video features. The S1R features a 47 megapixel sensor and a high resolution 5.76 million dot electronic viewfinder in a tough, weather sealed body styled very much like a mid sized DSLR. It is one of the largest mirrorless interchangeable lens cameras on the market, but its traditional control layout and large grip will appeal to a lot of DSLR upgraders. Autofocus is contrast detection with 225 points using a variant on Panasonic's established depth from defocus system. Autofocus tracking is possible at up to 6 frames per second. The 47 megapixel sensor is stabilized, and the in-body system also works in conjunction with stabilized lenses to deliver up to 6 stops of correction. A high resolution mode combines multiple exposures to greatly increase resolution, outputting up to 187 megapixel files. While not as attractive a video camera as the S1, the S1R can shoot 4K video at up to 60p with a modest crop. Dual XQD and SD card slots mean that it's easy to keep stills and video files organized. For more information on the Panasonic Lumix DC S1R, visit dpreview.com. Aloha. Today we are in Hawaii with adventure photographer Max Lowe and his friend, local voyager, Austin Kino. For this project, we brought the Panasonic Lumix DC-S1R. Join us as we journey around the beautiful island of Oahu in the heart of the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> oh, God! My name is Austin Kino and I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm an ocean person, and I'm an educator. My name's Max Lowe. I'm a photographer and director. I first met Austin down in Baja, California to work on a project for National Geographic Adventure. Ever since I met him, I knew that I really wanted to come to Hawaii and experience everything that he imparted upon us there in Baja. Being from Hawaii, we start to talk about the word aloha, right? The aloha spirit and it's a deep sense of kindness and, and um, hospitality. It's a little bit more tangible over here because we are an island people. The S1R is a full frame mirrorless interchangeable lens camera designed for enthusiast and professional photographers. The S1R features a 47 megapixel sensor and a high resolution 5.76 million dot electronic viewfinder in a tough weather sealed body. Autofocus is contrast detection with 225 points and tracking is possible at up to 6 frames per second. The S1R's 47 megapixel sensor is stabilized and the in-body system also works in conjunction with stabilized lenses to deliver up to 6.5 stops of correction. In addition to high resolution stills, the S1R and its companion camera the S1 can also shoot high quality 4K movie footage. In fact, this entire video was shot using the S1. We all grew up surfing and diving, canoe paddling, but I really was interested in, in voyaging. I like more the connection and learning about how we can use the things in nature. So getting out on the sailing canoe with Austin was just a, a must. Take care of the nose when we go out, just push into the wind. Okay, one, two, three. Just seeing him and his element it's such a huge part of who he is. I always just felt very comfortable in the ocean that it was a safe place. When we go out and it's really rough like this, it's, it's designed to be able to have a little bit of flex and kind of work with the ocean. They call it like your onehanao, your sands of your birth. That crystal clear blue water, white sand. This is where I belong. When you're in these new environments, it can sometimes be scary and especially moving out through these giant tidal zones where there's big waves crashing. Austin like is so sure of what he's doing. It's just an amazing experience because you're able to harness the confidence you feel through them. You know, in the 60s, the, the dominant theory still in Hawaii was that Polynesians or people who sailed in Hawaii did so by just drifting in rafts. And we knew 
Our ancestors were skilled navigators. But like anything, you have to prove it. In 1976, a group of watermen from Hawaii boarded a double-hulled voyaging canoe called the Hokulea and sailed 2,800 miles from Hawaii to Tahiti without the aid of any modern instruments. That one prior expedition is what made me so interested in the vessel. Fast forward to recently when we just did a three-year voyage around the world that I was able to be trained and crew and be a part of. Our role was to become the next generation of captains and navigators for Hokulea. So my leg was from Hawaii to Tahiti. That was the, the route I'd studied for probably close to you know, four to five years. And so that was probably for me my most significant accomplishment because that was the voyage I'd grown up hearing about. Austin spends most of his time on the water, but he also wanted to show us some of the island's beautiful inland spots, like the cliffs overlooking Kahana Bay. The cool thing about going to a valley like Kahana is it gives us probably the best representation of what was called an ahupua. An ahupua, simply put, is a land division that marked from Mauka in the mountains to Makai in the ocean. Everyone that lived in the valley understood that they had that shared resource and responsibility, that whatever you do in the upland, it's gonna affect um, the people that live by the ocean. In Hawaii, they were the first people in the Pacific to look into aquaculture, so actually farm raising fish. The fish pond was really the one ingenious tool that allowed people in Hawaii to hold the population, but they didn't import a single thing. Later in the day, Austin took us to meet his dad, Kioni Kino, a retired Hawaii fire chief who's been making paddles in his home workshop by hand since he was in high school. This is one of the paddles that I used way back then, so that would have been 40-something years ago. Well, I really think if our house was to burn down, he could run and grab one thing and be his paddle templates. I like to practice with different types of joints just to give it a different look, just, just for me, because you know I shape the same paddle day in and day out. I'm sitting here in the garage, and I'm thinking, how can I make it any different? We always give him a hard time that he never really like does a good job trying to sell his paddles or things. And I don't think that's what it's about. I think he really enjoys making them and, and being the craftsman. He loves the ocean and he likes to see people using what he's made to enjoy the ocean as well. People will stop by and look at what I'm doing and, and we'll talk story and I just enjoy doing it. That's how you met mom paddling, right? Yeah, I met, I met my wife paddling. The S1R's high resolution mode combines multiple exposures to greatly increase resolution, outputting files of up to 187 megapixels. Then we were able to actually get out and put some of these paddles that his dad had made to use canoeing out on the bay in front of their house. Shooting from this little chase boat, you just feel this raw power of the sea. To just see a son and father doing anything together with the understanding that there's this heritage being passed down is a gift. Shooting with the Lumix S1R was awesome. I shot on four different lenses. The run and gun 24 to 105 f4, the Leica 16 to 35, which was an awesome wide angle, 50 1.4, an incredible portrait lens, super sharp. 70 to 200 f4, sharp and fairly light still. I think I learn more about Hawaii when I leave it. And the one thing that I, I think stands out the most in my mind is the people. People out here, you know, are constantly hiking and we're surfing and because we enjoy it, we want to protect it. If you don't understand something, you're not going to want to protect it. The same surf spots my dad grew up, the same hikes that you know he's done, I still get to enjoy it because of that connection that people have always had here to the land and, and to the sea. For DP Review, I'm Barney Britton. Thanks for watching.